Just ahead of a session of the Vukovar City Council today, councillors representing the Croatian Democratic Union, or HDZ, and the Ante Starcevic Party of the Right sought the resignation of Mayor Jelko Sabo and his associates, threatening to withhold support for the city budget if he does not do so. If this threat is carried through, it will necessitate local elections ahead of time. Sabo, who is otherwise on sick leave, came to the council chamber and reiterated that he is not guilty of the allegations of attempting to bribe HDZ councillors and also appealed to councillors to refrain from manipulating manipulating his illness to further their political aims. Otherwise, Vukovar's interim quarterly budget expires in three days. Activists belonging to the Green Action Environmental Group held a demonstration in front of the Croatian parliament today to protest ratification of the new physical plan for the Plitvica Lakes National Park. They claim that the new plan opens the way for the overdevelopment and further commercialization of the park as it foresees the construction of new buildings and infrastructure in some of the park's most sensitive areas. Activists warn that it also allows for the considerable expansion of the local tourism infrastructure. Meanwhile, in Parliament, MPs today discussed the work of the probation service in the year before last. The report on this relatively new service, which is supposed to ease the burden on the prison system, was criticized by certain opposition MPs as nothing more than a table of statistics. Labor MP Branko Vukcic was particularly troubled by the example of convicted felons who defrauded the state budget of millions, but who have the option of doing public works during a probation period of several months to a year instead of serving actual prison time. Croatian Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic is in Sarajevo, where she is participating in a conference on the prevention of sexual violence in wartime. Also attending the conference are British Foreign Secretary William Haig and famed actress Angelina Jolie, who is a UN Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. The Rijeka-based daily newspaper Novi List has fallen on hard times. Its owner is being investigated by the police due to a series of financially questionable deals, while the paper's reporters and other staff have not received their salaries. Yesterday's unusual and historical headline openly criticized the owner and top management. The employees say they want to save this popular local and national newspaper. An international agricultural fair opened today in Gudovac, near the town of Bielovar. About 400 exhibitors from eight countries gathered for the largest fair of this type in the region. Although, as always, the latest tractors and other farm equipment attracted the most attention from visitors, grain seeds and vegetable seedlings and similar spring planting necessities are the highest selling items. The fair, which lasts until Sunday, was opened by President Ivo Josipovic. A bust of the Roman Empress Livia, originally from the ruins of the Roman-era settlement of Nerona in Croatia's Neretva Valley, arrived in Zagreb from Oxford. She will be finally reunited with her body, which is kept in the inland Dalmatian town of Opuzen. The portrait of the wife of Emperor Augustus will be displayed as part of an exhibition in Zagreb's Klovicevi Dvori Gallery called Classical Rome in the Croatian Lands, which opened last evening. In sports, Barcelona confirmed on its website that young Croatian midfielder Alin Halilovic will be transferring to the Catalan club. The 17-year-old Halilovic, who now plays for Zagreb's Dinamo, has signed a five-year contract and will first join Barcelona's B team, which plays in the Spanish Second League. Halilovic will play for Dinamo until the end of this season, after which he will transfer to Spain. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Skies will partially clear up and precipitation is expected to abate. However, clouds will persist in the south and east, where some light rainfall can still be expected. Light to moderate winds will hit most of the coastline, while northwesterly winds will blow on the open seas. The sea will be moderately choppy, with visibility ranging from 10 to 20 kilometers. Today's high temperatures are generally range from 11 to 16 degrees Celsius.